All right, today's video is to show you how I'm gonna install my LED lights that I purchased on Amazon. It's a really good light that has been tested over two hours underwater to make sure that there's no water intrusion inside the light. It's not a spotlight. It's basically more like a, a wide angle light that I'm gonna install in the front of the pulpit. And I did a lot of research. Um, putting the light on top of the pilot house is gonna interfere with my radar. Not just only that, is that when I shoot that beam of light, it's gonna hit right here on top of the deck and the pulpit, and it's gonna blind the cabin. So the only way that I can think of, of installing a spotlight, um, it will be under the pulpit. Since this boat travels with a bow up, putting a light under the pulpit is gonna be the best location because the light is not going to blind me up here in the pilot house because it's gonna be shooting, the beam is gonna be from here towards that way, not from the pilot house down this way and I don't get this area here light up. So let's go in the pilot house and open up this LED light so I can show you what it looks like. All right, it's nice and cool in here. The, the weather outside right now is about 97 degrees. It's really hot. Uh, we broke record here in Florida uh, for about 100 years. We broke that record that's 97 degrees uh, during this time of the year. All right, so this is the LED lights. I'll show you what it looks like. So like I said, this LED light, it's not a spotlight, but it's more like an open beam, but it's very powerful, very inexpensive, very powerful. And what I really like about it is that it has a lot of vents back here. It's only about 45 watts. There are two lights that come inside the box, but I only need one. I can use the other one for spare which is awesome because if this one breaks in the future, I just swap it, get the new one in. It's aluminum baked in and it's white. So once I put it in front of the pulpit, it's gonna blend in with the color of the boat. It's not black. They sell some that are black. I don't like them because they stand out too much. So I like this one because of the white color and it blends in awesome with the front of the boat. And it comes with a very thick wire, waterproof too. And the manufacturer of this light they dip them in water for two hours to make sure there's no leaks. So that's more than enough for me. If they dipped it for two hours, and this is just gonna get some splash of salt water in here, it's not gonna go inside the light. And if it does, they're very inexpensive. I believe I paid $29. I will put it in the description below if you wanna check it out. Uh, I think it's $29. Another spotlight for the front of the boat was gonna be a little bit big, and I don't need a big spotlight there. I just want something when you light up, that you can see, you know, 500 feet, you can see poles. Also, the most important thing about having a spotlight, if you're not be getting at nighttime, you can see the wave pattern. So you can accelerate the boat and also uh, decrease acceleration. Uh, because at nighttime, if you're navigating and you don't see the waves, you don't know what you're gonna be pounding on. So this is gonna help a lot because I've been navigating at nighttime uh, without seeing nothing in front of me. Uh, the radar is picking up objects but I don't see the wave conditions. I can't see the size, the measurement, uh, the distance between the waves, which is really important. And the hardware, very sturdy, stainless steel brackets, very strong. You can tell here how thick they are. So all stainless steel, uh, great for the marine environment. But to install this light on the pulpit, what I'm gonna do is, instead of this hole right here, I'm gonna drill two holes on each side here, one here and one here. That way this light has more support uh, not just one bolt uh, going through the pulpit uh, because it can shift a little bit. So I got two stainless steel screws that's gonna go right through here in each corner so the light is more sturdy. When you install light, you gotta look at the gauge. It's very important. Never go under the size of the gauge because then you're gonna heat up that wire. In this case, this is a little bit bigger than it came with factory. So even better. I'm only gonna go about 10 feet away from the pulpit to the pilot house. So. It's not gonna be a far distance. And I'm gonna test this switch to the light. Uh, once I click the switch, this is gonna light up. It has a light in it. That way I know that spotlight is on. It's gonna indicate a red light. Because at daytime, if you have this light on by mistake, you're not gonna know if it's on. You're not gonna see it. So by having a light switch inside the pilot house, it's gonna be awesome. I don't wanna drill anywhere around here to put a switch. Cause I don't want nothing else to look out of place out of here in the front. So what I'm gonna do is, this is where my night switch is, night light, 
and I'm gonna install this right here that way when I turn on the light I can see it from way up here I can see the light is on right now I want to keep that dash as clean as possible um, even though I have a beach umbrella holder here but that is not permanent I can always take this out if this light is on and you don't know it's on it's gonna drain your battery uh, it only draws 35 watts but you don't want to have it all day long turn off so I got my wires here I got my switch and I got my string connections here so I can make it waterproof my connections that way since in the front it's in front of the pulpit uh, some water and moisture will be up there all right let's get it started okay right here through the anchor locker if you look that's where the wire is going to come from it's going to come all the way from the front towards that harness there I'm going to attach it to the harness all the way through here coming right through there all the way to that opening over there into my electrical right here and the switch will be right there very simple installation just takes a little bit of time to get it installed and I want to show you why I chose this light instead of a spotlight a spotlight this is the front of the boat a spotlight will shoot a beam like this right straight beam straight forward like that and this light if the bottle goes like this this light goes more wider maybe like that it's 150 degree of opening so I'll be able to see more short range front and that's what I need it for I don't want to see very long range uh, and shorter so definitely this will be a shorter range but you get a wider opening and you'll be able to see markers uh, waves a lot easier with this than having a spotlight I've been doing a lot of research and that's why I don't like the spotlight because spotlight can shoot the beam forward but you don't see your surroundings as much you have to move it around you have to have an electronic motor to move it around with a wide angle light you don't need that but you're gonna see shorter distance so but I'm okay with it that's what I wanted exactly is to see the conditions of the waves in front of the boat so that way I know how big the waves are and how fast I can navigate okay so this is exactly where I want to draw the hole right up here I know it's gonna hurt to open a hole here this light is gonna be installed right here like this and this power wire is gonna go right through here through the front right in the middle put a little bit of tape here so the fiberglass doesn't split now I'm gonna look for the right size bit always start with the smaller bit now I'm gonna go with a bigger drill bit I just got a little chip here but I'm gonna put some marine silicone there now I'm gonna insert the wire see if it fits and like I said I'm gonna put some marine adhesive here so it's gonna be all weather sealed and see here this cable is gonna go right in through that like that and then the lights gonna be positioned right there now I'm gonna position one screw first right in the center okay now I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite adhesive right where the screw is gonna go see I place two holes here so I can put the screw in there All right, before I tighten it I'm gonna make sure there's level even with these two screws here Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put adhesive on this screw here. Alright, that's not going to go anywhere. And a tension washer is needed here. Alright, this is all done. Very strong. 
it's not gonna move out of here screws on top and a big fastener through the sides here see when you look at it from this way here you can hardly see it it's in the front and you can hardly see it blends in with the pulpit of the boat uh, because it's the same color the light looks very discreet if you look here I'm in right in front of the boat right center on the boat so see this is the only thing that is gonna obstruct the light the beam of the light is gonna come this way with no problems now I gotta go inside and do the electrical I need to climb in here and you see the wires right there and I'm gonna put that wire up here and follow it all the way around to here now I gotta get this wire through there and previously there was a hole here um, and what I did to seal the cabin was I put some foam I don't know if you can see it there so what I'm gonna do is I got the cable here I got a screwdriver the same thickness of the cable and I'm just gonna puncture it to get it to go to the other side <laughs> it's very easy it shouldn't be hard at all there it is I'm gonna cut the cable here a little bit so I can open it up and get the heat shrink wire connection, give it some room. Now I'm gonna look for a shrink wrap that would fit both wires. All right, I'm gonna hit these wires now. If you look, there's a perfect seal right there. There's no water gonna go through those cables. Uh, since it's in the anchor locker, there's some moisture there, but perfect seal now I have to connect the ones inside and also heat them up so I can get a sealed 100% on those wires it's so hard to get in here and get a zip tie in here it's just incredible but with one hand it's really hard to do this all right so right over there is the cables already secure all the way right up there coming all the way to the uh, harness now I gotta get this wire all the way under the gunnel secure it through the harness all the way here to the electrical panel and attach the switch so now I just need to connect the wires here to the switch okay right now it's nighttime and I'm in the pilot house and I'm gonna show you how the lights work so I'm gonna shut the pilot house lights on okay so now I'm gonna turn the outside lights Look at all that light. Right now there's some big planters in front of the pilot house, so the light does not flow. But once it's in the water, it's going to be huge lighting. Look at this. Right now it's pitch black. Look at that. Awesome. Let me show you outside. Okay, this is from the top of the pilot house and you can see it's lighting up all this area here look at that it's like daytime that's a very powerful light All right, so the light on the boat right now is not facing straight here because there's a big jungle there. This is only the side of the boat that you're seeing here. And look at the light. It's lighting up all the path here. And I'm about 200 feet. So I think about 500 feet, I will still be able to see something. So this is gonna be great for ocean navigation. It's great lighting right there. Okay, now when I'm piloting the boat, I'd be able to see out with no problems. Now that I turned the interior light on red, I'd still be able to look out, look all my instruments. I'd be able to see outside at least 300 feet easy. Uh, and about 500 feet, uh, I'll be able to see markers and buoys.
and the red indicator switch you can see it from over here see this one on top is for the night light it's that light that you'll see down here that's the night light that I use to uh, do all the mechanical work on my electronics up here all right, right now I turn the spotlight in the front and I can see the markers see you're still seeing the reflective markers right there this one right there and there's another marker there see how they reflect so that means the spotlight is hitting them and they're about probably about 280 feet one and the other one is about close to 600 feet and you can still see from here And I'm going to show you now how the wiring looks and the switch here is perfect see how it lights up this is a special switch because it lights up when you turn it on right so it has to have one positive and two grounds to able to make it happen and I got my two negative here and my positive one here to the main bar here the wires came right through here right through there and all the way down here all the way through the foam and right over there and it came right around the corner through this area here all right so that's the installation and like I did show you at nighttime it is incredible what this little light can do for the money that it costs us very discreet from the side here you can hardly see it instead of having a big light up there in the pilot house uh, having it down here is much much better this is gonna help you save some money and this is gonna give you a wider beam of a spotlight on the front so you can see everything instead of seeing a straight beam you'll be able to see a wider beam um, which I like that better I can see more of the waves and you don't have to have the spotlight electronically move side to side there's no need for this one because this one has 150 degree of opening light and I will place the link in the description below for this light um, like I said I got them on Amazon and I believe it was like $29 and you get two of them so if one day one breaks you have another one spare or if you want to give one to somebody else uh, you have another light for what you pay for it that is awesome all right I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and navigate safe